So I wanted to do an update today on my Riley Defense RAK 47 Classic that I got. So I took it shooting the first time a couple of weeks ago, it was on a Sunday, and I've taken it one more sh time shooting since then, and so far we put 340 rounds through it, no failures, nothing. And yeah, another thing I wanted to bring up was I read a lot of bad reviews, but all of them were from before Riley Defense switched from casting their parts to having them milled in-house, which makes a huge difference. And since then, I haven't read any bad reviews. So if you see reviews that are from before 2017, you can just go ahead and assume that's from before they switched over to milling them in-house. And since then, the quality of the rifle has greatly increased. The reliability everything just just way less issues with the new parts they've been making and it's a quality AK-47 entry level and it's at a fairly cheap price so I think it's definitely worth the buy in my opinion it's better to buy a gun like this than something made by Century Arms which I heard does not have very good quality control and these things aren't made super fast so they definitely take their time on them and pay attention to detail and make sure they're putting out a good product for American citizens to enjoy and they will last them. So anyways I wanted to go over a couple of things. I got this guard for the stock and it seems to really help because it does kick a little bit but I mean not as bad as most people say. And then another thing was this, in my previous unboxing video, I said this was the windage, but this is clearly the elevation. To adjust the windage on here, you need to get a special tool to adjust this. It seems to be pretty close to zeroed, it's just a little bit off, but I am still getting used to the iron sights. After about 50 rounds, I was doing a lot better using the iron sights, so that's really helped things. And I haven't had any issues with the magazines, they all seem to fit just fine. And pretty much every round I put through this, for the most part, was a uh, toll ammo, steel cased hollow point. So I got some full metal jacket brass uh, bullets, and they seem to work just fine, but they're fairly expensive. I think it was like $18 for 20 of them, and I was getting 40 rounds of the steel hollow point toll ammo for about $9.99. So I mean, you do the math, and these things are made to run steel ammo, so there's no point in paying extra just for a brass full metal jacket. And another thing, in my first video, I said I got this mount for here to mount a red dot optic on there, and it doesn't fit, but I mean, it was really cheap on Amazon, so I mean, I'm not that heartbroken about it, but doing some research on it, see, it just kind of jams on there. I think if I do some little filing on the inside of here, I might be able to get it to work. But we'll see. That That's going to be something I'm going to try here pretty soon. And I just wanted to go over another couple of features of this rifle with you guys. One thing that's really nice is you can lock the slide with the safety lever, just like that. You have to put a chamber flag at the range or something. And then I learned some tips and tricks from uh, AK Operator Union on YouTube. Shout out to him. Uh, when I first got this gun, the safety was super stiff. I could barely move it. So one way to fix that is to pop the dust cover off, and pull this up, and then you just kind of bend it out. Just kind of bend it out once it's seated right. to go this way. There we go. Yeah, you can kind of just go like that and just kind of bend it out like that and that'll make it a lot more loose. As well as with the this you need to push up to release the gas block when you're disassembling it. I pushed that out because it was super stiff when I first got it so that really helped. Let me give you a close-up of both of those so you can kind of see a little better. 
and then don't be discouraged if it leaves a mark. It's meant to do that. But yeah, so I got this like that and bent it out, and that fixed the problem. And yeah, I mean, this is, I have an AR, I have a 22, I have a high point. This is by far the easiest rifle I've ever disassembled and cleaned. I mean, this is how, you, I'll just demonstrate for you how easy it is. You just pull that off, just slide right out. That's that. And then, like I showed you with this lever earlier. So a little step. Oh man. Sometimes you need a tool to get it all the way. Which I might have to use real quick. Let's see here. You know, AK operator you know, said he likes to use stuff like this to fix it, so let's see how that does. Once you see what I'm doing here. Yep, see? Easy as that. And then you want to make sure this part right here is flat like that when you pull the gas block out. Otherwise, it'll damage the metal and add a burr to it. I mean, that's pretty much it. It's fully disassembled as, as of right now. And user manual for the disassembly and reassembly purposes. So now I'll just do a quick reassembly to show you guys if you're not familiar with this platform. This was actually my first AK, so... I wasn't familiar with the platform myself, but their instruction manual is fairly good, but I watched AK Operators Union, and he gave me some really good tips on what to do and not to do while cleaning it. One thing is you don't want to put any oil in the gas block, because that can damage it, obviously. And like I was saying, you got to get this flush before you put it in, otherwise it'll damage the metal. So with that flush, you just drop it down into place, push that pin all the way down, if it wants to go, yeah, gotta have fingers of steel or use a tool. <laughs> so that's that, gas block's in there, now we want to put, so the trick to getting this back in, the bolt block is you want to pull this forward and spin it until it won't spin anymore and it's pretty much flush right here and then once you got it like that kind of hold it so it doesn't spin back you kind of want to slide this in get it to here and push down right there and push it in like that and then put this Spring back in, lock it into these two grooves right here, then the dust cover. Like I was saying, easy peasy. It's probably the easiest rifle I've ever disassembled and reassembled. Almost as easy as my Glock, but that's not a rifle, it's a handgun, so. And then you just get this lined up, and push down, and boom, it's ready to go. It seems to be working fine. Safety. Fire. Check the safety bolt lock. And that's it. But yeah, I'll be having more videos coming out on this. I just kind of want to give you guys an update on how it's been running for me. It's been running just great. I really like it. I'm very satisfied with the purchase and it's a beautiful gun and I love the caliber. It's just amazing. I haven't shot anything with that much kick so far because my first gun was the 12 gauge shotgun which I got about six months ago. Then I got a 22 LR and then I got a high point 9mm carbine and then a 1911 handgun and then a Glock 17 Gen 4 and then a Bushmaster XM15 QRC AR15. And then I got this. And I can honestly say this is my favorite rifle now. It's just a joy to shoot, and man, it just chops stuff up. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. Like the video, 
give me a subscribe at the bottom right hand corner at the symbol of my picture and I'll have more videos coming soon. Thank you. Have a good night.